please stand by. Across America, starting at... The live broadcast will start momentarily. Please stand by. The live broadcast will start momentarily. Please stand by. The live broadcast. Broadcasting live from beautiful Portage Lakes, Ohio, it's the PLX Live with Rob and Joel. Tonight on the show, Andy Killinet from Killinet Kayaks, with musical guest, French Doggy. And now, here they are, Rob and Joel. <laughs> Someone didn't get the memo. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of applauding, we thought it'd be funny to if everybody boo because you know why? Why, Joel? It's a giant sausage fest tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, so anyway, welcome. Yes, to another welcome. Wednesday night in the Portage Lakes. Welcome and thanks for tuning in. Yes, thank you all. I know it's a competition with the Indians, but you can watch us and you know, or listen to us and watch the Indians or whatever. Back and you know? forth. You Back can just you have your phone on you yes. and watch the TV, watch the game. But exactly. Monitor us so, or whatever. please, tune us but in. There's some people that can't. We can't. Well, we're working. Oh, yeah. Oh, and those people don't have Facebook, <coughs> Dan. Um, <laughs> well, there's some straight people left on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get a big dose of Dan tonight, I think. And uh, <laughs> Oh, there he goes already. <laughs> um you know, we always like to thank our producers every week, okay, which, you know, Jeff and Jessica and Jen, which mm -hmm. uh, this is the first time that uh, they're not here. We've been stood up completely. At least at least one of the three is not here. Yeah, so I wouldn't say stood up. They all have uh, prior commitments sure, and things like fine. that. We all have things that's going on. That's totally cool. So there's nothing it. wrong with that, no, you know. they work um, hard and they need a break. Jeff, get better, you, you know. Yeah, Direct, jackass. you know. Uh, compress, hot compress on that eye. Yeah. That's what I recommend heavily. Okay. Um, Which eye is it? Is brown. it left eye? <laughs> it's brown eye. <laughs> Chef! Sausage pie! <laughs> <laughs> See, this, is, this might be a little difficult tonight no, because we have no monitors. That's great. Okay. Yeah, there's monitors right there. I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, right. so we don't have... Um, Jessica or Jen off camera over here watching the feed and the comments and stuff. So we need feedback from you guys. Actually, on... Scott's watching, so he can tell us to somebody. We got we got a yeah. viewer. Yes. Hey, hey Scott. Scott's watching. Thanks for yes. watching. Yes. Yes. How's the show you're on going? <laughs> Up to nine. Good. Oh, all right. All right. Ninety thousand to... already. Ninety thousand. <laughs> it's amazing. And we've only been live for like eight minutes. Yes. Well, for nine million strong. Right? Nine yes. million now? No. Yes. We're going for oh, sure. okay. The PLX Live Army. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Something like that. Who says what? Callista says hi, Joel. Oh, hey, Callie. I work with her. Hi, Callista. Her soup was good. We got soup coming in tomorrow, too. It's a soup week at work. It's, it's a soup week? Soup week. Soup. Yeah. I do miss soup week. It's fun. <laughs> Callie's a little good. bit. So, so. How's it going? It's going good. I'll see you tomorrow. You see? <laughs> if oh, you're lucky. You're talking to Callie. All right. I thought you were talking to no, me, Joel. No, I won't okay. see you tomorrow, probably. No, I... It's Thursday. Oh, I might see you. You might. You don't, you don't know. Don't know. You never know. Um, I don't have my glasses on. I cannot see what that says. <laughs> you, you can ask. To to me. Ah, you can. That's just Brooke's name says kayak and killing it. <laughs> All right. Already. All right. Yeah. We're do some gonna... Speaking of that, it's a great segue. Nice. Our, you know, Funny our Brooks business guest mentions that. Our business yeah. guest. Thank you, Brooks. Um, our business guest this week is uh, Andy Killing It. Yeah. From Killing It Kayaks right here in the PLX. He is your hookup right there. So he'll be on here shortly to discuss uh, 
kayaking. Know, kayaking. And killing and, it. And killing, killing it. it. <laughs> and, and he's also got those cool stand up uh, uh, wake or paddle surfboard. Boards. Paddle boards. Yeah. Surfboards, paddle boards, it's whatever like you want to call it. Surfboard, same thing. Yeah. It seems like a lot of work. That's all I know. <sighs> yeah. It's not for tall <laughs> save fat it, guys. Save it's it for not the interview. It's for tall fat guys. <laughs> It'll do well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Moving right along. Oh, and Joel. Who's yes, our musical Rob. guest? Our musical guests this evening are our first tuner inners. Tuner inners. Yeah. I'll, uh, are I'll they inter- in tune? They're they're in tune. <laughs> we were here when they tuned up. It's technically a two piece <clears throat> band. Uh, Scott Paris and Chris Donnelly, but um, Sean Scott's brother is setting in on drums this evening. They go by the name of French Donkey. Yay! Yay! Oh, 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 we have a theme. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So continue of, on with the it's theme. It's hard to That's boo. Right. It is. I mean, instead of just my nature. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Moo. Oh. oh I thought that's. What I you thought said. you were sleeping back there, Dan. I am. Okay. Thank you. And uh, you know, the man, Dan, the man, the sound man, our uh, producer, is here with us. We shouldn't boo him. No. No. He'll make us sound bad. Yes. He will do certain things that are unspeakable. He's yes. running the sound effects too, by the way. Yes, he is, and you know, without monitoring, this could be dangerous. Right. <coughs> Don't know where this will go. This Welch's grape juice is good. These little—it's a juice box. Like yes, the, uh, for adults. Westfall says Rob looks great in orange, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you. Sausage fest. Sausage <laughs> fest. Sausage <laughs> fest. Sausage <laughs> fest. <laughs> Sausage <laughs> fest. Oh, oh, all right. God. This is going Brooks bad already. You look like a giant road cone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brooks. <laughs> that is hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great stuff, guys. Great. Um, I had a thought, but then again, I lost it when Andy chimed in. <laughs> so that's going to happen. Um, oh, by the way, I want to thank um, Robbie mm-hmm. Hendrix for this cool logo right here from Akron Canton Graphics. Well, he did the sticker. And put it on the bug. I'm yes. sorry. That's okay. Joel does. Joel and his son designed this. My son designed yes. it. Yes. Well, okay. Max attacks. It. It was an Eschelberger. Uh... All right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that's, and Robbie <laughs> did that sign too. Thanks, Robbie. <laughs> Dan. What? Rob Rotonda. Is it? Is that how you go by? No. no? Oh. Okay. I didn't Rob know. Untonda. Please, Rella. <laughs> let him know what the name is. She did. I seen her the other night. I know she did. So, hey. Where are we All going, right. Joel? Okay. Mm. You want to talk about upcoming events? Yeah, that sounds great. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> glasses have to come out for that. As long as that's all that comes out. Because it is a sausage. <laughs> sausage. <fest>. No! <laughs> all right. This week. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow, in fact, at Howie's, they have the Sam Adams uh, Stein Hoist and pumpkin painting, which sounds interesting. Hoist the Stein with Sam Adams down at Howie's. Oh, That's tomorrow, pumpkin. Thursday. With the buzz on. Yes, exactly. And uh, further on in the month here, it is Halloween. It is October, right? Correct. Uh, Howie's will be having a Halloween party uh, on the 28th with the Shattered Sticks Whoa. playing. And, of course, uh, just recently they brought back the Saturday and Sunday brunch starting at 10 a.m. Mm. There you go. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Mm. Bet they got a lot mm. of sausage at that brunch. Oh. You can choose from between bacon or sausage. No bratwurst? Mm. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> or knockwurst. It'd be a... <laughs> okay. so that. And coming up here at the deck this Friday, uh, they have the Walking Dead Night. That sounds interesting. Dress up as your favorite Walking Dead character or zombie, um, and the best costume was 125 bucks. So that's this Friday. And continue, continuing with uh, Halloween, Saturday, costume contest at the deck. Uh, they have three prize places. Mm. 250 125 175 mm, wow. And free apps. That sounds starting delicious. Starting at 9 p.m. until they last. They got good like apps too. The deck. Yeah, I don't know. Until they last, you can't say something like that at the upper deck. Well, <laughs> well that night. And, and, and yes. like, yeah, I know I what mean, you mean. Yeah. Okay. You ever been there on Saturday morning after a Friday night? <laughs> yes, I have. Rob has. <laughs> okay. Right. Sunday we'll have uh, also at the deck <laughs> prizes for costumes. 
So they're going to hand out prizes again. And it's, uh, you know, at the deck on the best pri uh, costumes get prizes and karaoke. Well, they got a lot of stuff going on. Well, they do. They always do. They do. You know? So we're here to bring you that. All right. Uh, on tap, uh, the 12th, which is tomorrow. What? No, today's the 10th. No, today's the 11th. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're off the day, obviously. Yeah. There's another oh, story there. Long story there, yes. Yeah, we'll talk so, about that later. Thursday, bit. the tap will have a tap takeover by Oscar Blues. Okay, 20th anniversary of Oscar Blues. Now Does anyone know Oscar? That is a beer? He has the blues. What? That is a beer? Yes. Okay. It's so a are, it's a brand. Okay. Okay, I, I don't know. I, I haven't had it either. Yeah, I never heard but of you it. You know me and beer. Interesting. And uh, on the 18th... Uh, Samuel Smith Beer Dinner, where you heard of wine dinners, right? Where they pair certain wines with food and whatnot and who's it's. Right. Well, this is pairing beer with the entrees and, and horse divers and, yeah. and that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, and, and, you know, on tap will also have a Halloween party on the 28th. Damn, with there's a, a lot of parties going on. There are on the 28th, and you're, you're they have overboard playing Fun. that night. Yes. So what's the name of the band totally? It's Overboard. I think they go by the Love Boat Band or something Is like it? that maybe. Right. Maybe. I don't know. Something like that. But yeah. Yeah. Do we have a segue, Silly. Dan? I got enough. Silly Yacht Rock. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thanks for the setup. <laughs> he's, now he's officially listened to a ball game. We've talked about it before, but now he is. That's why he's not running the sounds, because he's listening to the is Indians he, game. Is he listening to the Indians? I bet he is. That's son of a gun. Son of a gun. Oh, there we and go. it's a hit. It's a flower. Let's hear the call, Hammy. <laughs> right, okay, Bob, where are you going with this? Okay, and finally, but not last, but least, <laughs> the Claw, the Smoking Claw Tavern. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, the fourteenth Saturday, first annual Smoking Claw Bake. Fun. So it's a clam bake at the Claw. Oh. All right, get your tickets while they're going hot. Um, and uh, Thursdays, I think they're continuing this, is an open mic night. Oh, good. All right. Good. Uh, I don't, they have karaoke as well, but I don't know. They call it an open uh, mic night. So if you got a guitar or uh, a sitar or something, bring it on down. I you know? think, from what I've seen or read, they're set up, yeah, they're just set up for both. And they might even have a tiny bit of a back line where, you know, like a little. The only thing my question is, is Dan Massey hosting and running it? I don't know him. Dan, let us know that, please. I believe he is. Is he? Well. He's the only one contacting us. Right. So. All right. That's it for upcoming events. That was uh, a good distance on that one. Mm, that was nice. <laughs> a little paper airplane. Uh, you get the cow. <laughs> Did I win a prize? Yes. <laughs> you get to keep the cow. Sweet. All right. Steaks. All right, Joel, where are we going now? Well, I'd like to make a little... Uh, PSA? Yeah, public service announcement, uh, just to let you know what's going on here. Let's see. This portion of the show is brought to you by... <laughs> our good friend, Steve Shoemaker of Shoemaker Rigging, located at 3385 Miller Park Road in Akron, Ohio. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Shoe. We Ooh, could not... No. Yay, we're yeah. applauding. We're applauding. Oh, God, Steve, yes. Yeah. We could not do this without you, bro. Excellent. We appreciate Excellent. your support. Well, we could, dude. but it wouldn't Excellent. be the same. No, it wouldn't be. He's, he's a good dude. And I ran into him and his lovely wife at the uh, oh, cattle, yeah. cattle Baron's Ball. Kathy. Yes. Sounds right. Yeah, I don't know. I met a lot of people. You serve the cake. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun. Thanks, Brooks and Janie, for And that was a great event that, that you... It was awesome. Uh, for, it was uh, awesome. Photo. Have, have Brooks chime in if he's still watching he's probably watching a game but give us a total if you know the total what of they raised. money raised yeah, yeah that'd I, be I, nice i see a big to number that. earlier today but i don't know if, for sure if that was right but yeah it was a great great event great cause great people great farm awesome all right Brooks says joel thank you you're very welcome and we'll see if he gives the uh total here. okay we'll wait on that for now you want to bring on yandy <laughs> yes Let's bring on our business guest for okay. the evening. <clears throat> Sounds great. Do we need some segue sounds or something? One hundred and seventy thousand 
Oh, and they did it over 100. Wow. Huge. Wow. Good job. Excellent. Right. Excellent news. Oh, that's impressive. Woo! Good cheer for that one. Kicking no cancer's doubt. butt. Yeah. That's it. Right there. That's it is. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. Bring Andy up. Ready? Yeah. Come on up, baby. Chinese fire drill. Go. <laughs> go, go, go. All right. Hey, I'll step on the big guy. Andy. Oh, what's up, boys and girls? Andy killing it right here. Killing it. All right. How is everybody? I, I already shook your hand once. Oh, I was sh- pointing to the oh, shirt right, right here. Yeah, here. This is go. what it's all about. Move hey, over to the other there. side right there. There we go. That's it. Killing it kayaks right here. Uh, you know, one year just about, or this well, is your this first season, year. First season. We'll first season. Way. Can't really okay. go a year because, you know, I'm six first months, whatever. So. Yeah, are you doing, what, a few more months and you're going to have a baby? Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe. This is, I mean, it's a great thing for the lakes to bring it out there. Um, Absolutely. You know, there's, Absolutely. there's other competition out there, but from my understanding, you're killing it. Uh, I mean, I couldn't help myself. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Uh, honestly, I tell you what, uh, for the community, I mean, what a great thing to be able to take your family out, you know, for 10 bucks an hour per head. You know, it's 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 basically the most economical fun you can have uh, for free. You know, and there's no gas involved or anything else. You know, you just take your family and go, and then I come and scoop them right back up. And, man, I tell you what, the smiles that I see every day, it's just, it's, it's just awesome. What a great job. What a great now, job. Now, Andy, what made you, what prompted you to start this business? Well, as most people know, I've been out here in the lakes for a while, uh, been tending bar and doing some other stuff and just saw a need basically in this community for just something else to really happen. I mean, you got the pontoon boat rentals, things like that, but just, just there was a need for something more recreational. You know, I mean, we live in a state park. We live in a, a town that is literally a state park and it's just, I don't know, it's the next up and coming thing. I'll tell you that. And it's just really taken off. I mean, I just... It, just a snowball <laughs> it's a giant snowball cool and it's so cool and you'll take the people they come to your place and you'll take them with the kayaks or well um, they follow me yeah, yeah to absolutely. wherever they want to be put in or do you normally have a, a place where you go in well um i give the customers the option to choose of course any of the state parks they want to go to um I prefer the old state park the best because it's the safest, nicest area, and it's not really publicly, you know, you can't Google it and find it. Um, but I'll absolutely take them, you know, wherever they want to go on the Portage Lakes, Nemesilla, State Mill, uh, North Reservoir even. Um, but, yeah, you meet at the shop, and then basically you take care of all the paperwork payments there. Then you follow me right to any park you want to go to, and um, I drop off. You park there, go out, do your thing, come right back to your car. I meet you at the shoreline. Yeah, you know, we part ways, and I load, and you go. It's, it's a good place to start, especially if you're doing paddle boarding, because if you haven't done it for the first time, there's some learning curve there. There is, and a lot of people, I, what I've noticed, most people, when they get this experience, they're at the ocean or something, so their experience is going to be a little bit different, maybe more complicated, um, but out here, it's so nice and calm. You know, you get on, most of waves you'll get is maybe a little boat wake coming through. No, no wake! wake! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you'll get the little bit of uh, but the boat wakes and stuff. But for the most part, I mean, this area for paddle boarding is just amazing, you know, because of the flat waters and everything. Um, and, you know, another service uh, that's really cool is being able to deliver to the people in the community's houses. Like if you live on the lake, I'll deliver to your dock. What great thing is that? Hey, I'm going to have the grandkids over. I don't have nothing sure. to do. Oh, now I've got five paddle boards to put them on or right. whatever, you know what I mean? And I'll come right down and put them in the water for you and... Drag them right back up the hill. That's an awesome service you so, should provide. Oh, it's great. And I, I believe that's the biggest part of it, too, is the actual service. Being there and doing that those things for those people, that just makes it worth their while. It's a service industry. It definitely excellent. is. Excellent. Absolutely. absolutely excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Um, where do you, uh, what do you see changes or what do you foresee you taking this business or what, the next step? Next season. We're almost out of this season. We are almost out of the yeah. season. Um, well, as far as next season goes, uh, I'm probably going to double and triple my stock depending on I'm going to add some fishing kayaks for next season. I've got a pretty big demand for that. I'm going to add a few t- tandem kayaks. Um, a lot of the families like to have their dog or their small child, so I'm going to do the, the tandems. Um, I do have one canoe I purchased this year. I'm going to go for hopefully about three more canoes. So have, do you get a request for canoes? I do, actually. Really? Um, honest to God, I get. Uh, I probably had about, I would say, 15% you know, of all my you know, rentals that people would ask for a canoe. And up until the time when I actually, before I purchased it, you know, I just would put them in kayaks. But 
um, you know, I got a canoe that holds three people and I charge $20 an hour. So it's, you know, 10 bucks a head, but you get one free on that. So, sure. you know, that's pretty economical. And, uh, but yeah, and it's, they're real nice little canoes. So, you know. Have you thought about, you know, uh, coolers in the kayaks and coming up with like uh, paths? Which is your neighbor and <laughs> well, nice I thought about cross those promotion. It, little cross promotions <laughs> things would be good. Um, I'm not sure about putting ice cream on there or whatever. Uh, but well, I, they're I do, adult shakes though. Right, no, I get that. Well, you know, it's a state park. We got to watch that. Oh you know, yes, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, no, the cooler thing for the paddle boards, I may um, actually incorporate uh, an actual rental cooler that you can have that you can put on the board with you, and you can actually use it for a seat. As well as you know your extra storage or your drinks and a food seat and would stuff. be good, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And and uh, so it you know you have that versatility on a paddleboard. You can sure. sit, stand, or kneel on those. So sure, it uh, I've never done it. You know I've always wanted to try it, um, and uh, it just looks like a lot of work. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want to come out and try it, I'll give you an hour for free to try it. <laughs> as long as I can video it, we can put it on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's do it. I, I don't have what anything think, on the soundboard because I was getting ready to just say that's what she said. That's but, you what know. she said. Ugly, <laughs> where's the big water splash? Ugly, yeah. and your mother ugly and your sister ugly. You just plain old ugly. <laughs> ugly. That's not right. Can you do it, can you do it two man? Um, you have two man now or not? I don't have any two man things except for the ca- or the canoe. Okay. That's why I said I'm gonna add some tandem next year. A tandem kayaks. Right. I don't know that they make a two person paddleboard. I haven't. It'd seen have to one. be pretty long because the weight. The thing with the paddleboards is the length. Determines right. the amount of weight that you can put on it. Rob, so. would you, you, can you and I go out on a two man canoe? Now, you guys can definitely get well, on a we paddle can do board. A canoe. You guys could definitely paddle board together and spoon, and I would just <laughs> totally film that. <laughs> No, no spooning, yes, uh, but you know, I, I you mean, guys would love the canoe though. It's really nice. I love all of it. I, yeah. Oh, it is fun. I grew up canoeing, you know, through rivers and lakes mm. and what have you, and it, it is definitely fun. That's so bring the family out. It's it's a good time for the whole family. Hey Andy. Yeah. Andy, can you still honor the the half off if they mention the show? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way. So I've got these uh gift cards. I know Christmas coming up. I do have these gift cards for four hours of uh kayak time and uh they're forty dollars an hour. But if you mention the show, of course, uh and you stop by the shop to get one of these, I'll give them to you for thirty five dollars, it's five dollars off. Um, or, you know, in the next uh, couple days here, my season's just about to end because they are going to drain the uh, lake down. But in the next couple of days here through the weekend, if you come in and mention the show, um, you know, I'll take a couple bucks off your rental or something like that. We'll work something Sweet. out. Definitely give you a deal, though. There if you go. Come, the show. come on into come on in Kayaks, oh. mention the PLX Live, and you get the deal. You get a discount. For um, sure. oh, where was I going? I lost myself. I don't know, man. You're driving. I'm riding. I guess I'm in the wrong seat for that, but well, no. Um, oh, there's something coming up. Um, oh, what? When is it? The fifteenth that they're lowering the lake? Yeah. So here's the deal. A lot of people now. If you go on any of the Portage Lakes pages, everybody's saying, "Oh, it's this and it's that." And as far as I can tell, they've already actually started draining. Well, I saw your there post. Are, you, yes. I mean, everybody saw that, and they said, "Well, that was just because of the rain." But then I've talked to people on East Reservoir and some other places. They're saying, "No, I've got six inches of shoreline." But the main already they're already draining the main lake. It's already down six inches. Okay, my dock is not right hasn't, now. Hasn't gone down. I have a bit. not seen it go down at all. Okay. Now. Uh, it's in parts. It's weird. It's like they're lowering it in stages, I think, slowly. Plus, we're getting a lot of rain. And I don't know if they put that loose knowing that we're going to get a lot of rain, because they do that sometimes. So It's possible. It's possible. Um, you know, I, here's the deal, too, also. If it does get, if the lake is drained down and I'm able to get a kayak out on the water, I'll still rent, because people want to see the leaf change. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful, it's beautiful out there. And, and honestly, in some of the places when it's lower... A kayak might be the only way you get you through some of You can still launch from spots. the state park. They're off uh, Manchester, so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and it, it, like I say, it all depends on where you can get the kayak in. I don't, mm-hmm. you know, if it's too, if it's too far out into the muck, I don't know if you've ever walked barefoot in the Portage Lakes before. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but in some spots, it can be not exactly the best experience for the customer. <laughs> so, it is, you know. Yeah. 
Um, so I just it's just all going to be in a matter of where I can find a good spot to launch. And if I can do that, we'll go right until we see snow. I've actually had a couple people tell me that they've actually liked the kayak in the snow, too. So That would be cool, I think. It's like a hot tub in the snow. Have you ever been in a hot yeah. tub in the snow? Yeah. I mean, that is beautiful. He's, the guy told me, he says, I do it every year up until it freezes. And he says, all I have to do is insulate my legs and my feet and hands. And then everything's good to go. Awesome. So, awesome. I'm willing to try it. So <laughs> if we're, you're going to shut down eventually here because yeah. the winter's coming. It's supposed to be a heavy winter, they say. That's right. Well, which is a good for the lakes as well because you get heavy ice. Yeah. Right. And that's always fun at the lakes if you've ever been out here for that. Um, but what's your startup date uh, tentatively? Uh, I'll tell you what, honest to gosh, um, I mean, if I have people who are literally like snowbird kayakers and they want to do it first thaw, I mean, I'm open to, to whenever, um, you know, I mean, all I have to do is pull them out of the garage. Let's be honest. <laughs> there's no motors to winterize. There's nothing, you know, there's so no So if you want a kayak, no, no matter what, just call me, man. Call me. I'm the guy. You, you need a kayak, I'll, I'll bring it to your bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So, so you have that. Andy is. There's a shot of the your. Yeah, oh, beautiful! Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Phone number. Like yes. Right. Sweet. And we'll post that up on uh, the website and uh, our page, which we already did. Yeah, you but see the canoe right up. there in the front too. I got the canoe. Yeah. Good, job. Right. Good deal. Do you All rent right. fishing poles yet? No, but I do have. Like I said, I have the attachments on some of the kayaks I'm going to be installing over the winter, where you'll be able to put your own poles on there and okay. stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll ever actually rent poles, you know what I mean? I leave the customer to bring something. <laughs> but I you know what well, that's a good idea. Maybe I have it, a couple it, just old something poles if somebody there, doesn't have anything that shows up and spur of the moment thing. Just a just an idea. I have included know? uh like I, I do have like dry bags for phones now that you can rent and I have like dry gear bags and things like that. So I'm starting to add some more accessories as I go, you know, for the rental part and to buy even too. It's all about accessorizing. For sure, yeah. for sure. Um, and I will next summer. I will definitely one hundred percent be selling kayaks, paddle boards, paddle boats. Okay. Anything that the Sun Dolphin Company makes, I will be selling and stocking in my store. And you'll be able to special order at any time. So you have a deal with Sun Dolphin. That's where I bought all those kayaks with. And then right. our idea with when I worked this out with Sun Dolphin in the original beginning was our idea, our idea was people want to try it before they buy it. Mm-hmm. Sure. So what better way to have them all try yeah. it and then they come back and buy a kayak? They can literally come back to the store, and buy a one, kayak, and go home, <laughs> go out, come back, <laughs> buy one. That that company's located in Michigan. They're actually American made. You know, they make them right here. I could literally drive up to Sun Dolphin, knock on their door, and say I need parts, awesome. and and they're that they're that accountable. So that's a great company to be with, and I'm just gonna keep it going. That's perfect. Yeah. All right. Um. Anything else you want to add before we move on uh, to our winter next storage segment? is about the only other thing oh, I have going there you on. Go. I do uh, I, I have limited limited space, but I can probably store up to about twelve or so boats. Um, so yeah, if anybody has anything they want to store, boat or an RV, give me a call until space fills up. Uh, so yeah, all right, there you have it, killing it kayaks, yeah. killing it. Thanks, Boris Lakes. Love you guys. Right. Thank you guys. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Andy. Yeah, now, Andy. coming back in here. Yeah. yeah. Sausage. See, sausage, Andy. Sausage. Oh, sausage it all kind of goes hand in hand. <laughs> hand over hand. <laughs> yeah. Hand yes. Hand. He's out of here. He ran out. He's yeah, out. he's gone. He's like, oh, crap. <laughs> you guys are idiots. Yes. Who? What? Well, he's thinking out of it's, us. It's hand over hand with a twist. Oh, that's it. <laughs> All right. So, you guys want to get all, right. all plugged in and so, tuned up and whatnot? Our next set segue is our musical guest, yeah. which is... I'd like to talk a little bit about them because... And um, I'd really like to thank our good friend, Laura Smiley, yes. from 91.3 The Summit. Thank you, Laura. She, she kind of put us in touch with these fellers, and um, she dropped over, dropped off more... CDs. So I'll talk, I'll tell you about that. This is uh the 330.net. Um this is their sampler CD, homegrown music sampler CD. It's a good CD. Yeah. And so anyway, um these next fellas here, uh French Donkey are featured on this CD. This has 20 tracks plus a bonus track. Um this is volume 2. What track are they, Joel? 
They are track. I don't know. Are you guys going to perform this song? Borderline? Yes. Borderline. That's one of the ones, yeah. Okay, sweet. And they'll, they'll be performing one of the, uh, the, the track off of this. They are track 11. Be performing 11. that. 11. 11. So thanks, Laura. It for goes to 11. <laughs> dropping these off. And this is... What song will you guys be performing first? Uh, we'd like to start with a song called Dead End Scene. That's track two off yes. of this one. Nice. Yay. Gold. So anyway, put your hands together for these fine gentlemen. French donkey. Yay. Hello, everybody. You guys ready? Sure. This ain't a radio song. Have gone, can already tell this ain't a radio song. Don't analyze that might force me to think. Think I'll take this time to step in line for a drink. Give it ten years and you'll see what I mean. Living a lie instead of living a dream. Guys, thank you. Thank Sounded you. good. Thank you, thank you. Let's go around the room here and introduce yourselves. Absolutely. I'm Scott Paris. Hello. Chris Hi. Donnelly. Sean Paris. So two Parises and a Donnelly. Yeah. What's the French donkey make today. <laughs> <laughs> how um how did you guys come up with the name first of the all? The name. We've come up with some pretty clever stories. <laughs> Talk about it. Yeah, we came up with some pretty clever stories uh, over the years, but. Honestly, it was because we became friends almost 20 years ago. It's close to now. Um, we had to email one another <clears throat> because we didn't have cell phones. Um, and autocorrect would always change Donley to Donkey. Ah. So when we decided to write together, because he was in Send Us. Right. And I was in a band called Mainline, and we used to play together all the time. We met in Ashland. Um, we didn't know what to call it, so so Paris French. Oh, that's Donnelly awesome. Donnelly to Donkey Makes because sense. of a spell check uh, mistake. That's great. And it just kind of happened. Funny. One of those dumb things you say out loud and go, all right, let's try that. Sure. So we did our first record. We started in 03. It came out in 06. And then the first record is actually in the pile under there. Yeah, I, didn't, I accidentally put it in that pile. Um, it's at the bottom. It, it's a self-titled one. Yeah, it looks like that. that. So we put that out in 06. Damn. And, and uh, played around on it for a little bit, and then 
have been friends this whole time, but Chris has put out solo records and records with Via the Sun, and I put out a bunch of solo records, and then last uh, two years ago, we decided to pick this back up and get together again. It's been like 10 years. So in 10 years between this came out in 06 and the new one came out in 2016. No doubt. So, or, <clears throat> or six, 6 to 16 or 7 to 17. It was about a 10 year gap between the two releases so far. But it's always, it's, it was cool too because, I mean, he plays as much as I do so like just trying to find the time to do it was the biggest problem but it wasn't even a problem because it's so much fun and easy to write with him. Mm -hmm. Like we wrote 26 songs for the yeah we were going for a double album until we realized how expensive a double album is to put out anymore so we basically just threw a couple away and fit as many as we could onto yeah. a what is it an 80 minute <laughs> yeah CD. yeah standard what's make goal here uh so there's 21 songs on this <laughs> it plays for like 74 minutes it's it's jam-packed that's and songs lot. we had to leave off so when we were doing a fundraiser for this, um, people who did like Kickstarter with us mm -hmm. got the extra four or five songs on a bonus disc. Nice. Um, and then we never gave them there. You can't find them now. It was just for kind of the people that helped fund this with us. Right. Very yeah, cool. we recorded a lot of music over about a year. So recently, since you guys kind of got back together and mm -hmm. with this project, what have you got going on? Any upcoming shows? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, this Friday we'll be at Jilly's Music Room uh, in Akron. Uh, ironically, since we're talking about it, the last time we were there was in February. Uh, we did the Make Gold release party with a five-piece band, and we played the entire 21-song album in its entirety start to finish. And we filmed it, so we've got a live DVD of Make Gold Live from Jilly's with like a four-camera shot, soundboard recording, um, so we'll have copies of this as well. We're doing a shorter set now, uh, but this was the big, the big production yeah. release really show. Everything was there. It sounded just like the record, pretty much. Oh man, that's awesome. actually hired good musicians to play. Yeah, with us. So well, me and him. You're right. He right. was good. Yeah. Steve was good. Adam that makes yeah, Sean was there originally. Well, we had Steve. We had Adam, Adam Warren, and uh, yeah. Excellent. But really, but on the on the album, it's just Chris and I playing everything. Yeah, I so I, we're both I listen. Multi instrumentalist, so all the keyboards, yep. drums, bass, vocals, everything was pretty much fifty fifty writing too. Yeah, I've listened to this several times. I've listened all the way through Thank this you. one several times. It's awesome. fun too because yeah. there's, I mean, some of the songs like you know, we kind of almost force the other person to. It'd be like, all right, the song's done. Hey Scott, you do the first verse, and I'll do the chorus, mm -hmm. or you know, we just kind of flip a coin with a lot of different stuff yeah and even the yeah, i mean even the lyrics were 50 50 so when you hear me sing we might have both written a part of that lyric or him or whatever so i mean it was really really a, a proper a proper duo because we both we're both songwriters and we could write songs for ourselves kind of all the time so it was really cool to just bounce ideas and go hey normally we do this so hell with that let's right. try this yeah you Hence know. the reason we put 21 songs. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone's Couldn't like, stop, everyone we know really. that's on the inside in the music industry is like, oh, you know, singles are big now, EPs, just put out four songs at a time. We're like, okay, that's cool. Hey, you want to do a double album? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. let's do 21 songs, because who cares? Right. Like, if they like you, they'll like you. Heck yeah, man. Well, you guys want to play another one? Yeah. Uh oh, sure. I went out. There it is. All right. Yep. What are you going to play for everybody? We're going to play Borderline, which is the song that uh, oh, yep. 330 and Summit has been playing for us. So thank you, Summit, for playing that and having us on the record. Um, I still brag all the time that we're on a record with Mark Mothersbaugh from Devo. That's and the correct. Pretenders and I mean, there's some you are. really That's cool. CD. I know. Just to be on that disc with all those people, that alone is cool. The disc but is in my car right now. Awesome. Every time I get it. It's cool. It's a really <laughs> it's great, great. It's a great disc. But. So we're going to play that track. It's called Borderline. Right? <clears throat> got no reason to rhyme, but I like life on the borderline. I'll be just fine, but I like life on the borderline. Borderline psychotic 
But that must be the reason we get on so well Lately I've been listless For you like lethargy But even tired eyes have a story to People's language, keep drawing like a savage, using all of the space in an empty room. I saw you drop the A one, then survey the damage. First responder to the wreckage, how you planted. Got no Sounded good. Party ever what? Ooh. Well, yeah. yeah. That did One of these guys. Oh. <laughs> Boo. Oh, <I'm> just <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a good thing to say. <laughs> I know. It's weird to even think about. Dan was there, though. <laughs> me? Yeah. The sausage. Sausage. Huh? Off. Those are off. Okay. Oh, we can still. Oh, okay. yeah, you can yeah, talk yeah. real close, and you don't. Yeah, I thought okay. that was the cutoff. Like, oh, get these guys out of here. Like the old Apollo, oh, no. like the hook. Yeah, get them out. I of see thing. what he did yeah. there. He doesn't have that power. <laughs> Sound Dude, man has all the power. Sorry, we need all the, the sausage we can get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anything, anything else you guys want to talk about or let people know uh, about what's going on or? I don't know. I don't know. We're still playing on the Make Gold record. Uh, the DVD is out now. We're playing at Jilly's Music Room on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, who else is on the bill? Uh, Callie Lou's playing, uh, which is a friend of ours. She's on the album. She does the song Impatiently Waiting. She's doing a whole set as our opener. Oh, sweet. And there's a traveling act called Strangled Darlings, who I it, it's not somebody we know, but <coughs> somebody that Jilly knows. Uh, so they're going to open the show at 7.30. So there's basically from 7.30 till we play at like 10, there's a whole bunch of music, and then we'll close out the night. Awesome. And they got really nice food, and, and it's like a dinner theater set up. It's really pretty. It is a so. sweet place. Sweet, yeah, it's sweet really layout. cool. And Jill's a sweetheart. Uh, so we're happy to be there. We're so there you go, here. folks. That's yeah. where you need to be. There's yeah. all kinds of stuff going on in the area. Got to love that. Not just Portage Lakes. Akron, downtown Akron, you know. Uh, Akron, it, of course, Ak is Akron. It is. Yeah. Summit County. The heart. This it's, is the heart of it. There's a lot of good stuff going on. And like I've said before, I was a little bit out of the loop 
like as far as not playing out so much like I used to. And then like we started doing this show, you know, hey, bands, do you want to be on the show or whatever? And it's just there's a ton of good players around that mm. I had no idea because I wasn't going out, sure. you know. And now you guys are all coming here or whatever, yeah. and we're trying to, you know, help you out or whatever. And But you guys are on, on top of things because you're on that sampler disc whatever but and and again just a, another heads up to other local bands you know if if uh you want to be on the show get a hold of us if you'd like to get your music heard bring us a cd or whatever or get it get it to 91.3 the summit you know definitely um we'll, we'll put you in the right we'll put you in touch with the right people and stuff and again you guys you're awesome you know scott and sean you've been on the show yeah we before, were earlier in the summer a little yeah. remote well, show. and then you guys helped us do uh my last solo record called sugar burner you helped us do the pre-release uh you were playing it before anybody else had it. Well, that, so yeah, website, that was cool. That was nothing. Yeah. That was great. No, I just it was, was great to was help awesome. you out and no, you know again everybody just you know but yeah that we was did our sneak fun peek stuff. On, uh, yeah. PLX website. yeah, yeah, he is great. That's why Chris is great you too. Chris has you a new are. solo record called Her Eyes On. Uh, am I saying it right? Her which eyes one? On? Which one out of this stack? That's Chris. the uh, that one with this, the bluish with the skyline there. Yeah. So that's so Chris is supporting that right now as well. When we're not French Donkey, we're separate entities, like Voltron, kind of, <laughs> kind of like Voltron. But when our powers combine, oh, that's Captain, You're Captain Planet. Planet. That's Captain oh, Planet. Wait, I'm what? sorry. Yeah, I went <laughs> way off pace. Well, even well, uh, I think I I tagged all you guys yeah. today or whatever in the post about tonight's show or whatever. But again, we'll share we'll share the the show and links and whatnot to make sure everybody gets not only a hold of you know French Donkey's tunes, but your solo stuff yeah. because you guys got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, everything's on. Basically, iTunes or CD Baby, and Spotify, or, yeah. and stuff like that. Spotify, yeah. sure. Rhapsody, everywhere. So, Good. yep, yep. After the broadcast tonight, you could all dig in your phone and find it. Pretty yeah, much yeah. For free. Skip anymore. your yeah. stupid right. Starbucks a day and a half and buy our record. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Sorry, I'm bitter. It's that's the way it is. It did show. It did didn't show at all. Well, now no. I'll tell you what's funny about streaming. Uh, we're on Pandora. We have a Pandora station. It's French Donkey. Uh, We've got this song called All the Way, and it had, the last I checked, it had like eight or nine hundred streams for the song. Nice. And it equaled uh, $2.42 oh, in royalties. Wow. So we made All a right. cool like two bucks, <coughs> almost two and a half off of. Big bucks. Here. Off of better towards a thousand plays. And you still couldn't get a cup of coffee. You couldn't even buy a Starbucks coffee. So. <laughs> That's still if you, more than we make. If you love. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you love local art, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's zing. It's tough these days. Yeah. I mean, people do it because they love it. Right. You guys do your show because you love it. We play because we exactly. love it. Correct. But it doesn't hurt to, like, pay the bills, too. You know. It, yeah, well, yeah. You know, but. Sure. Yeah. Eating's All that good overrated. Stuff. <laughs> Eating's overrated. <laughs> but drinking on the other Well, yeah. Fluid, though. Yeah, so. totally okay, so, yeah. <laughs> you guys want to do another one? Oh, yeah, you guys want to do one more? Yeah. All right. What yeah. are you going to do for us now? <laughs> uh, do Is that you want to do? Yeah, we're going to do another one off the new record. This song's called Do Gooder. And it's a total, total mockery of the English language. <laughs> right? I do yep. that every show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Wrong. One, two, one, two. With regret and still in debt, I am no good to you. With the heart that falls apart like it's held by stale glue. 
guys. Well wow. done. Thanks for having us, guys. Thanks. Sweet Thanks, music. Thanks, fellas of French Donkey. Sweet music. Scott, Chris, and Sean, thank you guys so much. That was excellent. Boo! <laughs> Salty <laughs> party. What? <laughs> what? Thank you, everybody that's watching. Make sure you add PLX Live and like the page, too. <laughs> thank you. Well said. That was excellent. Yes, it was. It was very good. So... I got a little announcement. Hang on a second. That portion of the program was brought to you by 91.3 The Summit, Akron Canton's home for true music diversity, locally owned and operated, member-supported public radio. The Summit plays a wide variety of music, including rock, pop, folk, acoustic, local, reggae, and much more. And... Also, the 330.net, featuring music from the past, present, and future of Northeast Ohio, homegrown, hyper-local, and powered by the Summit. Thanks again, Laura Smiley Thank and 91.3 yes. The Summit. We love you guys. I saw Laura was multitasking, watching our show, watching the tribe, oh, well. and working. Oh, I mean. And she doesn't feel good. I, I know. Get to yeah. feeling better. Heck, right. you know, heck all that stuff. Heck with Heck. So now what, Rob? Anything? Um, you know, we did uh, covered the upcoming events uh, in the lakes. What's happening around the lakes? Um, um, Any viewer questions? Yes, that's who's watching the viewer questions. Oh, Andy is. Yes, yeah. we we have a substitute. He's killing it over there. <laughs> um, what was that? <laughs> Question. Any questions for the band that, yes, that we, I mean, we didn't open that up to them, but if you have any uh, questions for if the you, band. I'm sure they would like to play for you, uh, one of your venues that's around the lakes. Um, that would be nice. Yeah. That'd be cool to any, see them. Any club owners watching that would like to book French Donkey? Get a hold <laughs> and of we that. mean the band. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds, it, it's a little weird to say. We got a name down in Mexico. Uh, did, oh. yeah, yeah, Tijuana. <laughs> I left you that message the other day, and you said, hey, come on the show. And I said, for what, a donkey show? You didn't tell me that the special guest was French donkey. I didn't want to scare you <laughs> off. That's you right. know what? Yeah. He was did like, we, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> did we want to bring up um, Andy's first appearance at the location, or not? Andy's first appearance at the location. When, no, I, that's up to you. I mean, I might have had the days wrong. Okay, a little yeah. mix up. You know, there. I mean, well, it's your fault for texting me <laughs> no. early in the morning. I'm like, it hey, a day off the whole entire week. I'm <laughs> yeah. just saying. I'm, did you have I, it was a simple text, like, it hey, caught Rob, up to me now. <laughs> do we have a business guest for tomorrow night? Hang yes. on, let me get a hold of Andy. Okay, Andy's in. Sweet. <laughs> Last night, I just happened to be at the undisclosed location where we do our show. I just happened to be here. A truck pulls up, and it's Andy. He's like, hey, am I, am I at the right spot? I'm like, oh, yeah, well, you're a day early, but that's okay. I was already doing trivia, having a cocktail at Howie's. Probably. So, you know. I am nothing. I am punctual. I'm just saying. He was yes. excited. Andy did say, I might be a little bit excited to be on the show, so I, he, he, he wanted to get here early. He basically wanted to camp out. I'm like, no, dude, that's weird. I just wanted to, hey, I just wanted a room. I just wanted a room. Yeah. <laughs> So what's the what's the score of the tribe game? Anyone know? You're wa listening to it, Dan. It's three to two uh, in the bottom of the fifth. Yankees are winning, but mm. we got uh, two guys on. Sweet. How many outs? One out. Oh, all right. that's nothing. All that's all right. Good. All right. Let's go. I don't try. Want to say anymore because the MLB will have this show stricken <laughs> from Facebook. Well, <laughs> probably. Know. Fuck them. I mean, F bomb. No, I said. I said fug. M. Right. <laughs> Facebook oh. already picked up our option, though, for another season. So, yes. So, oh. we have that going for us. I see you got the card there. Put it on the back. Punch cards. Check this out. Check it out. Andy's business card. Look on the back. It's actually a punch card, too. So, you rent 10 oh, yeah. times, you get one rental free, right? Wow. Right. Sweet. Discounts everywhere. Woo! -hoo. Woo! Who Just don't like I discounts? Like. Save a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Come shoot. on, people, shop local. That's all we're saying. Keep yes, all of our business exactly. Alive. Let's keep our community exactly. strong. Keep Portage Lake strong. Keep the business in the Portage Lakes. Correct. And that's, you know what we are promoting here 
for you business owners. We want you to come on the show, all right, promote what you're doing locally. And that's what predominantly we are trying to, why we started the show. Well, no, we started the show to drink wine. But that's another whole story right there. Are you drinking wine? No, no. He's graduated. Who knows? Oh, it's Mine a, is in seclusion. It's probably Gatorade in yes, or something. You are is. an athlete. <laughs> Yes, well, I support great. local athletes. <laughs> anyway, yes, what he said, yeah, yeah, it's, so we just want to support local businesses, the community, local music, you know. And you don't have to be a bar, just, it mm. just so happens that they're in tune to what we're doing, all right? right? So, but yeah, Andy's a lot, not a bar. There's just a lot of bars. <laughs> Andy, you know, Kayak Riddles is not a bar. No, so there you good, go. Clean, I mean, fun. Good, we, we've had a lot of non good, uh, clean, wholesome family fun. Whole, we've had wholesome casts on before. <laughs> a lot of them, you know. Yeah, just we saying. have a, a nice mix, a nice variety of. Oh, we have a question local from Laura. She's asking about the gift cards again. Um, and yeah, we will have the gift cards. They're uh, like I said, they're forty dollars for um, a four-hour gift card. Um, Thirty-five if you mention the show. There you go. There you go. Five Save five dollars. Buy a gift card. Stocking stuffer. Mention the PLX you know, Live. We have holidays coming up. It'd be perfect for your loved ones. That's a great uh, at the PLX. I love it. That's yes, great. There you go. And thanks, Laura, for asking, inquiring about that again. I'd like to just say one quick thing here about um, a young man that was injured uh, last Friday night for the Manchester Panthers. Quarterback uh, was in a. Uh, Nasty uh, collision, broke a Touchdown! collarbone, broke a collarbone and his neck. Okay, but from the pictures I saw, he's doing well. Um, there's fundraisers out there right now to help support uh, the the hospital bills and financial bills for the family. Okay, you don't expect this in high school football, but mm -hmm. it does happen. Mm -hmm. It was a nasty, hmm. nasty accident. It's very unfortunate. So, get better, dude. So yeah. I hate to bring it down at the end of the show, but I had to throw that out there yeah, right. for our Manchester people. Sure, okay, yeah, it is support, man. Right. So um, looking forward to next week. Are we doing the show next week? Yeah. Okay. We are. All right. Yes. We, we have so many. Uh, we were talking about maybe cutting it down to maybe twice a month, something to that effect. But right now we have so many <laughs> guests scheduled, uh, specifically bands. Right. Right. Hey, Andy, hand me my phone right there if you don't Absolutely. mind. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we do. We did consider that just doing like maybe the first and third of the month. Because this is a. It, it takes a lot for us. You know. This is. Uh, it does. The, yeah. The, the setup and everything else. You know. Is a lot of prep involved it is, or whatever. But, uh, but ultimately, we want, we want to put out a good show as well. Right. You know. So. Um, but right now we're scheduled through this month. Correct. And uh, for yeah. every Wednesday. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, maybe December we, you know, tone it down a little bit. Maybe we just do the first and third or whatever, because then it'll give us the off Wednesday to come up with dumb stuff. <laughs> and who hey, doesn't like dumb stuff? <laughs> Danger Willie never showed up. I know. He was on the last show. Danger did, Willie. Danger. If, if you were watching last week, you seen Danger Willie wreck a scooter right here. He rode in and wrecked a scooter. That he's he's dangerous. Luckily, we Danger had good Willie. response time from EMS, and he was yeah, good. He's he fine was fine now. now. He had a yeah, helmet so on. Our first responders in the Porter's Lake. Yes. Right, right. Well, he had <laughs> doing a great job out there. He was wearing a helmet and goggles for one. Yes. Hey, here's a trivia question. The goggles were important. Can we give out? Can we give some? What do you guys? What do, What do you viewers want to have? What do you, What do you want free? Like a CD or something? All right. Ooh, Killing the Kayaks t-shirt. Boom. Here, one trivia question. Ready? <laughs> Don't put me on a spot. What? No, I'm just... <laughs> okay, hey, I'm ready. <laughs> Can I answer? What? <laughs> yeah, no, because you were here. Oh. Okay. One trivia question. If you answer it right, you get a Killing It Kayaks t-shirt. Ready? On the last show that's not live anywhere to be seen right now because Ooh. Facebook deleted it or something i don't know we don't know ah. danger willie at the end of the show what were what were we throwing at danger willie's goggles to try to make it stick oh my goodness see and, who gets this right so first one that gets it wins a t-shirt well, you have okay I mean, it's not just tonight they have till you know 
get a time limit because a lot of people watch show watch the show tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Right. So okay, yeah. The first the first person ever yes. that just gets it gets it. Please respond to our site with an yeah, answer. Just, sure. Any, message us or reply to this the video, whatever. Again, the question is, what were we throwing at Danger Willie's goggles? Last show. <gasps> we have an answer? Lisa says, Joyce Cease is driving around this month in the pink city yellow cab raising money for Breast Cancer Awareness oh. Month. All donations go to Stewart's Caring Place. Watch for her live. Okay. And Lisa... Uh, Lisa Pinot. Okay, Pinot. thank you, Lisa. Oh, yes. A supporter of the show. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, so... I'm sorry if I hacked your your last name. I'm trying to... I, I think it's Panetti. Panetti. Okay, that makes more sense. That yes. makes we sense. knew who you meant. Yes. A lot more yes. elegant than what I said, too. Uh, you're Irish. Panute. I am Irish. I mean, <laughs> Pokemon. I mean... <laughs> so, anyhow, look for the... It's a cab, right? Oh uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a pink city yellow cab. There you um, go, pink yeah. city yellow cab. All right, and it's raising, money raising for breast awareness for breast cancer. Awareness. That's this awesome. This is Breast Cancer Month, by the way. All donations October. go to Stewart's Caring Place. All right, there you go. Excellent. Boom. Perfect. There it is. So, so what do you think, Rob? Let's wrap it up. I think we're ready to wrap. I agree. Yeah. So please tune in next week. And we'll oh, see you then. East of Seattle, uh, two-piece acoustic acts going to be on next week. We don't have a business guest yet, but we will. So just tune in. So we'll keep you guessing a little bit. Oh, and one last thing. Junk Man, Nashville Nights on Friday night this uh, uh, weekend. And then down uh, in Canton on Saturday. And I can't remember the place. I surely don't know. But Junk Man. Just, just check right. them out. Friends of the show. There you go. And, and we're, we're out. out.